Hi, Courtney. How are you doing, Courtney? Good morning. Hello. If you can hear me, type in a hello. Hello, Amelia. Good, good morning. Who else is there? Don't don't be shy. Just say hello. Hi, Jackie. Good morning. Good morning, everyone that's coming in. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Celia. I am glad you're here because what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick intro to the class and then I'm going to post this intro and you can start. Good morning. Good morning there. Now, who has who? Obviously, uh, teachers are all taking these exams for the a lot of you are taking these exams for the first time. But who is uh, who has gone and worked with Go Academy before? Who's worked with Go Academy before? Good morning. Okay. All right. So, so we're gonna. So this class and this intro is meant to combine some things that we've done in past classes with the self-paced class to help teachers out. And and my goal is to to help you pass these exams. So I want to. We're trying to find out the right balance. So we're, we're we're doing this this bonus session, and we'll do another bonus session in a few days. But let's just uh, the the second bonus session is going to be on Monday at 6 p.m. and it's going to be focusing on the essay structure. Uh, for the new 78. So if you're ta who's taking the 78 here? Anyone? Anyone taking the 78? So if you're taking the 78, then I would encourage you definitely also to make the Monday session. And that's Monday at, sorry, 6 p.m. 6 p.m., not 6 a.m., but 6 p.m. That's going to focus on that essay structure. Okay. So if you're taking the 78, you can, who can attend that session? Who's going to attend that lab real quick? Good. I think that would be helpful to do. Okay. All right. Uh, as we get started, do me a favor. Could you please type in your test dates? When is your test date? Do you have a test date yet? Just type it in. I'm taking it on this date. Not yet. Okay. Thank you. Give me, give me a not yet or an actual date. It's okay if it's, it's not yet. Okay. And okay, and then you're okay, good. That's fine. That's fine. There's no rush to take it. There's absolutely, absolutely no rush to take these exams. Uh, did everyone respond? Yeah, there's no rush. There's going to be, uh, I'll just do this real quick. There's going to be, uh, today is what, uh, September 9th. Uh, you are going to have at least, at least three months, at least a three month wait. I'll say it again. Um, whether you test today or you test in three months from today, you'll probably get it back at the same time, sometime in December. Okay, there is a traditionally a long wait, a long wait. Did everyone know? Does everyone know that? 12 to 15 weeks, a long, long wait. Uh, it is a long time. So, so just know that there is no rush, but in general, when I work with teachers in these uh, classes, the class is 30 days long. So our class ends when? October, October 9th, right? So it's a 30 day class. So I would try, honestly, I would try to either test within the 30 days or the following 30 days. So that would be around November 9th because the, 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 the recordings end uh, during this 30 day window. So usually teachers do better within the 30 day window or six week window. So, so that would be around, you know, sometime in October. So that's my recommendation for this group. Uh, and this isn't like me just making this up. This is based on working with teachers, getting feedback from teachers, seeing the pass rate of teachers, the pass rate from the time they, you know, of teachers that wait to test six, uh, two months after the class and teachers that take the test, you know, a week or two after. So I think that the 30 days is sort of the ideal window, but you could probably push it any time in October. So the recommendation for this group is to test in September and October. Does everyone got that? Can you give me a thumbs up? You heard me? Give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna give you a quick survey because I have two questions I wanna ask. Uh, uh, no, no, I'll keep going. I'll keep going with my intro and then I'll, I'll get to the, the survey. Team, uh, who's having a fun time this year in school? What grades are you in? What grades are you teaching? Come on, keep it coming. Are you enjoying it? 
Has it been a nice start? I know it's hectic. I know it's always super, super busy, but it's also kind of cool too. I mean, the, the, the first week or two is like the best. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It is really like the, in my opinion, the best part of the year <laughs> after like the first month, then it starts to get tough. But the first few, the first week really special. Um, Team, as you go through and you do your studies and you and you and you go through the first uh, couple of weeks of uh, the school year, do me a favor and take care of yourselves. That's what this this photo is for. That should be your top priority. Thumbs up there. Big thumbs up. Big thumbs up. Don't get swept up. Don't don't get swept up in the new school year and forget about this because you'll 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 what will happen is you'll get burnt out. You got to take care of yourself and at the same time. Take care of your loved ones, okay? That could be your children. That could be your kids in school. Whatever that means for you, take care of them too because they're far more important than any exam, including this one here. I guarantee it. Thumbs up there. Your health and your loved ones, far more important. Or your students, whatever that is, more important. If you agree with me on this one and this one here, then we can do. then you can do this class. And, and this is going to be priority number two for the next 30 days. For the next 30 days, you're going to make this, this test, you're going to make it a game. And, and this, if you can think of it like that, that's how I want you to think about it. Your test is now a game. Yes? And it's going to be a game. It's a, a game like any game that is filled with a lot of skills. Like Carly here, she has to be able to run, aim. This is Carly Lloyd. Who knows Carly Lloyd? Yes, Patricia. What's your question? Type it in and I, I will hope to get to it. I might be mentioning it later on in the class. Who's Carly Lloyd? But you should ask it now. She's an amazing soccer player. Who's heard of Carly Lloyd? Yes, this is the call and response intro. You have to, you have to respond. I'm looking at all the teachers that are not responding. And that's what I'm saying. Why aren't you responding? You're in the live class at 7.08 in the morning. We gotta, we gotta get this thing done. If you don't know who she is, say, I don't know. Well, yes, she is a famous soccer player. She's a famous soccer player. One might say one of the best soccer players. So she has mad skills. Is that fair to say? Even if you don't know who she is, you can clearly see she's talented, right? She is running, she's aiming, she is kicking, and she has to do this all under tremendous pressure. And I think she's a really good role model for you because you're going to have to be running, aiming, and kicking, or you're going to have to be going through the multiple choice. You're going to have to be working on your pacing. You're going to have to be working on those essays, and you're going to have to do this all under tremendous pressure, okay? The teacher, the school year for a teacher is very stressful. Add on a test and it becomes even worse. But in the actual uh, time you take the test, your test is going to be like a game, a high stakes game. And, and what we're going to try and do, I hope, in this live class. OK, hold on to that question, Patricia. In this live class, I hope that you can acquire certain skills, uh, whether that be strategies for the multiple choice or working on pacing or ideas to structure your essay, they're going to help you win this. Does that make sense? Does everyone understand the metaphor? Hold on, I want to read Patricia's question. I can answer that in a little bit, Patricia. That We're going to answer that one in a, a few minutes, okay? Okay, so I want you to think of this as a game. This is very important. You're going to do this game. You're going to train a lot of this game on your own. So you have to have the right mindset. Right. Otherwise, you'll be like taking this again and again and again. You'll hate it all the way. Uh, it's it's in the beginning of the school year. So right now you see the students at their best. Who's seeing students at their best? They're happy to be there. And you and if you've been teaching, you also know students, you know, at their worst. You ever see a student that shuts down? <laughs> They don't want to be there. 
and, and there's very little you can do to help them, you want to be at the best, your best. So you have to embrace this thing and approach it like a game. The best version of you will appear. Okay. Um, this class is going to be focusing on, uh, these are all ideas, by the way, on the 78. All of these are the, the new, the ideas. They're not new ideas. These aren't new ideas on the 78. They're, none of these, these are the math. These are the science. You know, none of these are, none of these are, are new. I would say uh, in looking at this, right, when we were analyzing it, there's nothing um, brand new on this test. They did not, um, I mean, there's a couple things that are new, but but in looking at this, th these are terms, ideas on the 78 and the 64 for science. Try, just trying to go through them. Uh, 78, 60, there's a lot. Who notices there's a lot? We, we were very busy this summer. Yeah, there's a lot, yes or no? Not, okay, all right. So So there's a lot of ideas that you're gonna be working through. Oh, I wonder if we just numbered the pages. That would have been easier. Okay. Uh, lots of concepts. The, your job, well, no, but it's nothing new. It's nothing new. If you've taken the O3, who's taken the O3? Who's done the O3? I mean, did you have to study, you know, integers, positive numbers, negative numbers, whole numbers, natural numbers, odd numbers, prime numbers, composite numbers? So, so team. Once again, there's nothing, in, there's no major news. There may be some new things, but most of it, 90% of it is the same. So here's how I want you to approach these lists of vocab terms. I want you to start with the terms bolded in black. Let me say it again. Bolded in what color? Bolded in, bolded in black. And as you go through the course, start with the stuff bolded in black. As you go through and you do the sections, just star the, the terms that we go through. Okay, so he, he talked about whole numbers and natural numbers and prime numbers and composite numbers. Can everyone do that? Just, just go through the class like that. Have this list in front of you. Check off things that come up, appear. They don't, they don't go in order, not always, but, but you're going to hit a lot of these ideas. And the idea... If you've taken the O3, understand that uh, the math, I don't know why I'm keeping writing a nine, but the math is overall the same, okay? And if you've taken the, the O3 multi-subject, the science, there is some new parts for the science, but for the most part, the science, there's a lot of overlap too. So just like that, what I said with... Um, uh, um, with the math, with the science, you're going to go through these and you're going to be like scientific method. Uh, um, you're going to go through a controlled variable, independent variable. You're going to check off things that the class covers. And if it doesn't cover it, what can you do? If we don't cover any jump cannon, what can you do? No, 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 Allison. That's just, uh, they're not more important. Uh, ask questions. No, the live class, the, the self-paced class, you won't be able to ask questions. You just look look up who she is, right? Doesn't that make sense, Jackie? Jackie's right. Just look it up. Right. The class isn't going to go through all these terms, but if there if there comes a term that you feel uncomfortable with, oh, I don't know who who Charles Darwin is, and the class doesn't cover it, right? Just look it up. That's the purpose of all the, the pre-workshop homework stuff. But but I'm going to talk about the science in a moment because your focus was mainly on the math. I'm going to talk about things for the science as, as we get to the class. I'll explain the things you can do to uh, acquire more science, okay? But this is just a starting point. So, so in addition to making this a game, you're going to make one game I'm going to have you do is print off these, these vocab sheets. And as you go through the class, just check off the terms. Give me a thumbs up. That's a game. And I want you to go through this vocab checking them off. There'll be a lot of overlap with the old O3 exam, okay?